hey guys welcome back to my channel so um this video is gonna be a bit different before i start posting videos that i have made in the past i just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys i've been wanting to make this video for a long time and i've been absent for a lot of months as you guys can probably tell as you can see in the description box below and the um title above this is going to be about financing and the reason i'm making this video about finances is this is i would say 95 percent of the reason why i have not really been on youtube look at my view guys by the way this video would not be there will be no editing going on in this video so you're going to get me as raw and as natural as i come and um what else was I going to say? I wish it was snowing. Like, that would have been, like, the perfect thing. I just show you guys outside and then it's snowing. But it hasn't snowed for a while. Like, I think it snowed, like, two weeks ago or probably three weeks ago. But whatever. It's not what this video is about. So, we're going to go back on... We're going to go back to January 2017 because that's when, you know, I kind of made some harsh decisions that I had to kind of make up for in 2017. So in January, I had a salary job and um, it was my first salary job. I was doing culinary. Um, I worked at FSU University at a sorority house. And um, yeah, that's all the information I want to give you guys about that. So um, I decided in January that I was going to go get a second job. I didn't need a second job. I just decided I want some extra money because extra money is good. Like who would turn down extra money? So, um, I went and I got a second job. If you guys can remember me making a uh, video about Tropical Smoothie, that was my second job. So, Tropical Smoothie paid $8 an hour. Not a fifty, not eight sixty-five, not nine dollars an hour. They paid the bare minimum of minimum wage, which was uh, eight dollars an hour. Which, it didn't bother me because I only worked at Tropical Smoothie Monday, I mean, uh, Saturday and Sunday and I worked my salary job Monday through Friday so I had no days off and um, you guys don't know but my birthday is next month my birthday is in February so you know it's time last year it's, it was around the time of my birthday which this year it's around the time of my, my birthday so anyways um, I worked my whole birthday week like my birthday fell on a Saturday last year and this year it's on a Sunday, so I worked that whole week. And then I had this bright idea that I was going to quit my job and go and do corrections, which it wasn't a bad idea because it still was a good job. I, If I would have went through with the correction job, I would have been making way more money with my salary job and Tropical Smoothie put together. It would have been like way more money than um, what I was making. So... Um, just so you guys know, if you were thinking about doing corrections, like don't quit your day job. Like that whole process takes a while. It took me about three weeks just because if you have a background or if you've been arrested, it's going to take you a little longer than somebody who's never been arrested, never have a background, whatever. So um, I've been arrested in the past and I basically had to explain that to them because they brought that up. When they do your background check, I basically had to explain that to them. So then I had this other bright idea to just move. I'm like, I'm just going to move. So uh, I told the corrections job that, you know, I'm just going to move. And they were okay with it. So I quit my salary job and I'm now depending on $8 an hour at Tropical Smoothie. Like I went from salary to $8 an hour. Like that was like... My life had changed so quick. Like, you know how you guys say zero to 100 real quick? That's how it was to me. Like, I went from here all the way down here. And I didn't notice that change until the money, like, I got my last check. And then that was it. Like, with my salary job, I went on a vacation to Miami. I went with one check. I was able to get a nice hotel down on Bayside, um, Port of Miami however you want to call it um i was able to get a nice hotel i went shopping every day i stayed there for five days i went shopping every day i um i ate whatever i wanted to eat without having to check my bank account and i was able to go home and still have money so it went from that to just nothing i had a savings account but i was like 
I remember telling you guys that I was moving to Orlando, right? That was the last sit-down video that I made. I was telling you guys that I was moving to Orlando. Okay. Is this my roommate? No. Um, so, I was kind of like back and forth from Orlando, like going back and forth. The first time I went to Orlando, I was looking for an apartment. They kept turning me down because they were like, you have to have a job first. So when I went back home, I was looking for jobs. So when I went back to Orlando, I had gotten a job. So I went back for an interview. I had gotten the job. And it was, she asked me, she's like, when can you start? I said, immediately. She was like, come tomorrow. So I'm like, oh shit. Like, oh, this is serious. I went home, packed my stuff. And I, by the time I made it to Orlando, it was time for me to go to work. My first day of work. So it was like. I moved to Orlando like this. Like, I didn't make no plans. I had no plans. I lived out of my car for... I lived in Orlando for five months. I lived out of my car for, like, two and a half of those five months. And it's the beginning of summer. Like, it had just hit summer. And I'm in my car. And that could be a separate story time video. And, um, it just... I don't know if you guys, I'm pretty sure you, you have dealt with this. Like, okay, so it's hot outside. You have your air conditioner running. And as soon as you turn your air conditioner off, like that car starts to heat up. I mean, it's a machine. It's going to heat up anyways. So it, just imagine being in that machine every single day. Like you're sleeping in that machine. You're waking up and, and, it, and it's, it starts to just weigh heavy on you. And at this time, I'm starting to realize that me just picking up and moving was not the best idea. I should have waited. I should have saved more money. And I should have like planned out what I was going to do. But, okay, I'm just going to do a separate story time video for that. Because I feel like this is, that's kind of cutting into this video. I don't want this video to be like dangerously long. Okay, so, um... Where can I start? So I worked at this job, which that job was a uh, Cold Stone. I was at Cold Stone from the end of May until August. And I had quit Cold Stone because I just felt like I had too much experience for Cold Stone. Like I, I just couldn't stay. I mean, the job was great. I was making about $500 to $600 every two weeks, which isn't bad, but I made more money. Remember, the beginning of the year, I had a salary job and I was making more money. So I know how much money I can make and I can make higher than that. So I'm, I'm looking for a better job. So then I quit that job. I went and I got my security license and I started working at, well, I had an interview at Universal Studios to do security. I freaking let this lady talk me into doing Halloween Horror Nights and I love Halloween Horror Nights. I love Halloween Horror Nights so much. But when you are working it, no, no. That was probably the worst. That job will make the worst job list that I have. Just because I was doing nothing. And Halloween Horror Nights started at the beginning of September. They extended the hours last year. It started at the beginning of September and ended the beginning of November. So that job... I was getting paid probably less than Chocolate Smoothie because even though they pay you more, you're not getting any hours. There, I worked in a week, I would work one day or two days, and then next week, one day, and you get paid every week. So, with Chocolate Smoothie, I was making a little over a hundred dollars every week, but at Universal, I was making less than that. I was making like sixty dollars or like eighty dollars, and you know, you start getting hours when it start getting closer to like October. When it hit October, it's now getting close to Halloween. So it's like that's when you're making all these hours and all these hours. And I couldn't even stay that long. Like, I peaced out. <laughs> but before I peaced out, like I used all of their perks. Like, Universal and Disney World has the best perks. Like, Disney, you get to go to all of the parks for free. Universal, you get to go to Universal Islands of Adventure. Um, you get to go to SeaWorld and Busch Gardens in Tampa for free. We didn't go to Busch Gardens, but we went to Tampa and in... Uh, not Tampa. What? Where is my head today? Like, 
Bush Gardens is in Tampa. We went to SeaWorld. Um, we went to SeaWorld twice. And um, you guys will see that video because that is where I proposed to my boyfriend at SeaWorld. So um, you guys will see that video. But I just wanted to make this video just to tell you guys that you know how... What am I trying to say? You know how... Say, for instance, you get a good job and you just start bragging to people and you just start throwing your money. You start spending your money because you're making all of this money. And then it's just like that job just goes away just as quick as you got it. And that's just how it was. I went from making salary to just $8 an hour. And I have a car note. I have insurance. I have you know, rent, I have all of these bills that started to really weigh heavy on me because I'm making a little over a hundred dollars at Travel Smoothie. So I would say for about six months, six to seven months, I was kind of picking up the pieces for that bad move I did. And that's when I had to learn the hard way that in the beginning of the year, when you make decisions, sometimes you will have to, what am I trying to say? You will find that when you make bad decisions, you're kind of picking up those pieces. You're kind of trying to put your life back on track because of the decisions you made like seven months ago. And that's how I was last year. Like it just was not good. 2017 wasn't bad for me. Because my birthday was freaking amazing. I, uh, what did I do for my birthday? Um, me and my mom, we went to, um, she took me to, what the hell is the name of this restaurant? <laughs> Applebee's. And then we went to go see, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades Darker. I think that's what it's called. Not the first one, but the second one. And then I went to Panama City with some of my friends. So, um, yeah, I, it wasn't all bad. Um, we ended up moving out of Florida October of last year. So I am no longer in Florida. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been getting better ever since, but you know, it's a new year. It's 2018 and, um, it's time to, it, it's time to get your shit together basically. So that's my video. Um, I will be doing a separate video explaining to you guys where I moved, why I moved here. And then I would love to do a story time video of, you know, what happened and why I was kind of homeless and living out of my car. And if you guys want that video, just let me know. And um, you guys will be seeing more of me pretty soon. And I hope and I'm trying to make videos more on YouTube because this is what I love to do. But like I said before, it has not been the easiest. I seen a YouTuber make a, a video about this and I've been watching her for a while, her and her wife. And um, when she made a video about her financial issue, it just like made me want to do it more. And then my mom made a video about this on her YouTube channel. And it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this girl, like she's, she's a well-known YouTuber. And she was just saying how she owed the IRS all of this money ever since they moved, her and her wife moved. And I was like, wow, like this girl, I know she makes big money on YouTube and, you know, she, she's in debt at the moment and um, she owes the IRS money. And I was just like, wow, you think that you're going through some issues until you see these videos with these people and they're actually going through the same thing so you know I know it took a lot for her to make that video just because you don't want everybody in your business you don't want everybody knowing what you have going on but sometimes you could bless somebody else by just explaining your situation and what you're going through so that's why I decided to make this video just so you guys know that I'm still here and if you guys comment on any of my videos I always like reply because I'm still on YouTube. I just don't make videos as much. And yeah. I know I just look totally different. You know before I had my hair cut into a, a mohawk. But yeah. In, um, in 
July, I cut all of my hair off. Like, I was completely bald. And I would leave my social media links, like my Snapchat. I'm still kind of new to Snapchat. My Snapchat, both of my Instagram pages, and, um, yeah. It's been a long journey. It's been a long road. And it's either you're going to sink or you're going to swim. And right now, I am swimming. Because I don't believe in sinking. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I wanted to say hi to all of my new subscribers. It's just been so crazy that you guys are still subscribing to me. Even though I haven't really been making any videos. I haven't been giving you guys anything and I also wanted to apologize about the the couple of videos that I've been letting out like of we went to Volcano Bay at Universal and um I I was supposed to edit but I just YouTube will not let me edit anything and I don't know what it is I don't know if it's a new update or what it is but they just won't let me edit so I'm like you know what whatever I'm just gonna put this out and just hope that they like it or I don't know it's something I'm just still trying to get my channel together you know there isn't even going to be an intro there's just going to be me just popping in going hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so um yeah like I've been okay I'm still alive not much has changed other than um the fact that I am no longer a Florida resident I am now engaged to be married in a little bit I will update you guys on that but um yeah my hair is going back I cut it off in July like I said before and I bleached it around um Thanksgiving break and yeah so that's about it like, I'm so happy that I made this video and I hope that I'll be able to post it and you guys can see it and you guys can kind of, I don't know what you're going to get out of this video, but I hope it's something positive. That was my goal. And I hope you guys are doing better. Like, 2018, you don't want to struggle. You just want to keep working to do better. My, my goal is always to do better than I did last year. So, I don't know, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay subscribed.